Welcome to the Let's Get Started Nutritionist Pro Next Gen video. The purpose of this video is to help show you how to get started with creating a label for your food package. The main goal is to create a recipe using our extensive ingredient databases and generate a nutrition fact label for our food package. To do this, you will only need to focus on three main sections of the application. Recipes formulas, ingredients, and labels from the left-hand navigation bar. Let's get started with the recipe formula section. You'll spend most of your time here. It looks overwhelming, but don't worry, not all pieces are required. Focus on the red asterisks on each tab. There are only a couple of features that are required to build your recipe. There are various tabs in this section, and you can skip some if you want. Under the general tab, you add basic things about your recipe. Under the Add Ingredient tab, you add your ingredients, which is pretty vital for creating a recipe, so you'll spend most of your time on this tab. The Measure tab is very easy. All you need to do is fill in how much your recipe makes. The Yield and Cooking Loss tab is optional. The Nutrient tab is the nutrient profile that the software automatically calculates for your recipe. You can take a peek if you want to see the values, or you can skip this tab. The Ingredient Allergen Statement tab is very quick and easy. The software automatically calculates the ingredient statement. If you don't like how it looks, no worries. You can edit it when you're making a final label in the Label section. The allergens are what you need to focus on here. Select all of the allergens that your recipe has so that the label can create an allergen statement. If you are not making a label, then you can skip this tab completely. We also have a quick add wizard that will make recipe creation even faster and easier, so use that if you think you need it. The search for a recipe button is similar to opening recipes already in the software, so your custom recipes or our Axia recipes can be found and opened through this button. Click on search, then remember to select whose recipe you want to open, yours, which is tagged as custom, or Axia's. Make the selection and then hit search. Pick the recipe you want to open. Once the recipe is open, I'll show you the most important tab, which is where you spend the most of your time, the Add Ingredient tab. Here, you will see all of your ingredients and sub-recipes inside this recipe. Let's say you want to add some cheese to this recipe. That's very simple. Go to the Add Ingredient tab, click on Add. Now we see a food search window. Again, looks like a lot of information, but don't worry. All you need is the name of the food you want to find, and to make your search better, narrow it by selecting the source of your food. Go to Source and you'll see a list of references. Pick the country you are making a label for, like USA, Canada, Europe, and more. Click on Default to make sure that this source is used every time. Now hit Search. Scroll below to find blue cheese and select it. The application will now ask you for the amount of cheese in the recipe. Let's assume it's five cups, make the change, and hit Add. As you can see, your blue cheese has now been added to the recipe. If you need to make any other changes to your recipe, go to the tab you want to change and edit as necessary. Now let's go to the ingredient section. What is this section about, you're wondering? This is only used when you want to add a custom ingredient instead of the generic item or brand we already have in our database. For example, if you have a special blue cheese you want to use, then this section allows you to add your own blue cheese, and then you can come to our recipe and add the custom blue cheese. To use this section, we have great videos which you can access by the Help button on our toolbar. This third section is food labels. This is where you create and print your labels. Based on the region you purchased, you'll see many different label formats. Pick the one that's right for you, and pick the language you want. Click Next to start creating your label. If you want to find a label you previously saved, click on Search and find the label you want to edit. Remember, anytime you get stuck, hit the Help bar on the top of the application. The Help bar opens up a Help web page with lots of great information. The Help page has a Help Center you can submit a ticket for our support team if you have any issues. You can review the label guidelines for different regions. You can watch great videos to help you learn the features of the application. And you can attend one of our free web trainings, which is a great way to learn more tips and tricks. Lastly, 
We have great partners we work with, like label printers, graphic designers, associations, and more. Visit our partners page and take advantage of great discounts and other benefits for choosing Nutritionist Pro NextGen and being part of our community. We hope this video helps you get started and look forward to working with you.